At 32, Zhang Zhou focuses all her attention on building her wealth. This motivation, she says, comes from growing up with very little. Money is very, very important to me because money can bring me the sense of security. I don't want to live poor again. Living in Hangzhou, Zhang Zhou embodies the entrepreneurial spirit in the city known for its financial technology industry and home to e-commerce giant Alibaba. But she and millions of other people in China have lost billions of dollars after investing in what are known as peer-to-peer -peer lending platforms, or P2P. Amid stricter government oversight and the panic withdrawal of funds by investors, more than 200 firms have failed in the last three months. P2P firms gather money from investors and then lend money to small businesses and individuals, with many promising high returns on those investments. And that concerns economists, as the P2P industry in China is the world's largest, with more than $190 billion at play. This on the 10th anniversary of the global financial crisis. For the debt problem, I think it's a hidden bomb in China for a long time. But now it looks especially dangerous because a lot of, a lot of those debts are tied to the property market. And uh, uh, like the recent P2P crisis, uh, much of the borrowing or used to finance and their housing market speculation. And she says some aspects of P2P lending are similar to the subprime loans in the U.S. that led to the 2008 global financial crisis. The outcry over the failing P2P companies was so big in July that the government here in Hangzhou had to use athletic stadiums to house the complaint centers for the thousands of investors looking to get their money back or simply find out where it went. Some of those who lost money took their anger to the offices of one P2P firm protesting out front, chanting, we want our money back. As a businesswoman and investor, Zhang Zhou has diversified her investments, not just in P2P firms. She's lucky, as many other Chinese have lost their life savings in the crisis. But moving forward, she has learned her lesson, saying she won't blindly invest her money and will be much more cautious and careful. But for many, it's too late. Scott Heiler, Al Jazeera, Hangzhou.